If you could visit any time period, which one would you choose? Time travel is a popular topic in entertainment. From Doctor Who to Outlander to Legends of Tomorrow, the reason these stories are so popular is because we all yearn to travel through time. How amazing would it be to witness some of the most profound moments in history? Or if we could go back and warn our past selves about that crazy ex? Stick around until the end to find out which time traveler managed to break into the movies. Before we begin, freeze a moment in time to subscribe to The Richest. While you're at it, give this video a like. If you ever need to talk about the video after it's over, head on over to the community tab and meet some like-minded people. Now here are 10 mysterious time travelers that were caught on tape. If time travelers choose to come to our current era, then they might have a hard time laying low. In fact, with so many cameras around these days, it's truly difficult to remain incognito. With Facebook demanding ID and Google cars taking photos of everything, you can't really come from a different time period and expect to disappear into a crowd. However, it seems that one time traveler was bold enough to make his own video. In 2017, a video went viral and caught the attention of millions. A video of a man who claimed to be from 2028 appeared online, which served as a warning for the rest of us. The time traveler, simply known as Noah, had his face blurred. He claimed that time travel was invented in 2003, but it only became known to the public in 2028. He also told us that Trump will win the 2020 presidential election and there will be glasses that will be more advanced than Google Glass. Of course, there's the possibility that this is a complete hoax, but it's fun to think about. There's not much else with the video, so we imagine that Noah probably went back to his own time. For the sake of fairness, we'll come out and say that this next video has since been debunked. But for those who really believe in time travel, this video holds out some hope that there is something legit out there. In 1995, Mike Tyson had his first boxing match since being released from behind bars. His opponent was Hurricane Peter McNeely. Keep in mind, this was 1995. While technology was on its way to making some amazing advancements, we still didn't have cell phones, let alone smartphones. We pretty much had point-and-shoot film cameras and cameras quarters to capture moments. In the recorded footage of the match, people noticed that there was something rather weird in the audience. It looked like there was someone holding up a smartphone and taking photos or videos of the match. People were ecstatic because it looked like we finally had some concrete evidence of time travel. However, the folks at Snopes have a very viable theory as to what the device was. They think it was the Casio QV10A, which was one of the world's first digital cameras to make its rounds. Of course, we can't know for sure what the device was. Plus, if there was a time traveler that was a fan of Mike Tyson, who's to say that they wouldn't travel back to watch this epic match in person? This next one isn't necessarily taped since it's not a video, but it was caught on a roll of photo film. In October 2018, a photo of a Cornwall beach during the World War II era gave a glimpse of what life was like during wartime. The photo was innocent enough and not at all suspicious, but as we know, once a photo hits the internet, it's not not only there permanently, but it'll also be seen by millions of eyes. It didn't take long for people to notice that there was something amiss. The photo was taken in September 1943, way before smartphones were even a thing to talk about. While there was some computerized technology during this period, it was not nearly as advanced as what we have today. This is why many people noticed the man in the brown scruffy suit, who was looking down at something that looked extremely similar to a smartphone. Let's just say the conspiracy theorists nearly lost their minds. However, skeptics believe that the man was actually actually just rolling a cigarette. Also, it's hard to say, but who goes to the beach wearing a full suit? While the other beachgoers are dressed appropriately, the man in the suit seems a bit overdressed. In another tell-all video, a man named James Oliver claimed to be from the year 6491. Basically, he stuck here in our present time because his time machine broke. Considering he's allegedly from thousands of years in the future instead of decades, he probably had a lot to say about things. For one, he mentioned that there are countless more intelligent beings living on other planets, and guess what? They're smarter than humans. He also mentioned that all of the planets are governed by an organized body called the Federation, and that warring between planets is forbidden. This sounds a bit like a page taken from the scripts of Star Trek or Star Wars. To be fair, would it be a huge shock if time travel exists in 6491? Would humans even exist by then? 
James Oliver was apparently attached to a lie detector system the whole time, and of course, his face was blurred out. Even if it was fake, it's still entertaining and fun to think about a few thousand years into the future. Surely humans would have evolved and changed a bit, so if James Oliver looks just like us, then that's probably the most obvious red flag that this was a hoax. Here's another story of a time traveler caught in a picture, or so we think. If you go through Life Magazine's collection of skateboarding through the decades, you might find something interesting in the 1960s section. The 1960s had a specific style that can't be denied. While men's clothing has had similar features throughout the 20th and 21st century, there's something about the 1960s that makes it easily identifiable. So when this photo of a modern-looking skateboarder appeared in Life's archive, people were interested. We know that skateboarding as we know it today started around the 1950s and has been popular ever since. But this guy doesn't look like he's from the 1960s. He looks like he's from the 21st century. Between his polo, jeans, and sunglasses, he looks like he just posted a selfie on social media. While there's no other photo of him to see if it was just the angle we're seeing his clothes, many believe that perhaps this guy was a time traveler. A time traveler skateboarder wanting to skate through different decades doesn't seem like such a far-fetched idea. On the other hand, this next time traveler's ideas might be a bit far-fetched. Like other time traveler videos that have been released, this one has also been met with speculation. This video made its rounds in 2018, but it could very well be tracked to earlier days. The unidentified time traveler managed to even show footage of his phone as he warned the world that artificial intelligence will take over the world. Granted, we're already in a place where AI is starting to replace more people than ever. China even recently came out with an AI news anger that looks way too real. Okay, so maybe this guy's warning isn't too far off. As the wind blew in the video, the man warned the viewer that he hadn't got much time, indicating that someone may have been after him. The man apparently came from the year 2045, and he was one of the scientists that worked on the time machines that were released in 2028. Remember how our first time traveler also said that time travel would be available in 2028? Maybe there is something to this after all. In November 2018, a video posted by Apex TV got quite a bit of attention. They were sent the video by a security guard who worked for a warehouse in Pennsylvania. It's hard to tell exactly what is happening in the video, but you could see a man in a hoodie walking to an area that looked like the back part of the warehouse. He seemed to be looking for some sort of device, which he eventually found. Then, you saw several flashes of light, like he was taking a picture. This went on for a minute before the man disappeared completely. You actually see him disappear like an image on screen. Many believers think this was a real time traveler at work, while others think that this could be a case for teleportation. Either way, it's remarkable footage. With any footage this believable with time travel, there will be skeptics. Since Apex TV tends to post a lot of videos about time travelers, one could say this could be a hoax, since it's fitting within the channel's brand. Even if it is fake, it's some pretty cool video editing. If you're a big fan of time traveler videos, then you've probably seen the clip from Charlie Chaplin's 1928 movie, The Circus. You can see plain as day that there was a woman holding something to her ear that resembled a cell phone. Some people thought it was a hearing aid or some sort of handheld radio device. However, the latter didn't exist in 1928. Then a similar video popped up from 1938 with the same thing, a person talking on a phone. But the woman in the 1938 video could be identified and tracked down. Her name was Gertrude Jones. According to her, the segment that was being filmed was for wireless telephones. Now, cell phones didn't come into play until the 1980s. Wired telephones were still very much a thing well into the 90s. Some people might think it was a bad cover-up in order to conceal the fact that it was a time traveler caught on tape. Maybe the technology for a wireless phone was in the works and wasn't perfected until decades later. The world may never know the answer. If humans can time travel, who's to say that our furry friends can't time travel as well? In a random video found online, you can see two cars racing down the highway. It is likely that the video was being taken because it was illegal street racing and not something you could watch on TV. After the two cars passed the person filming, a random dog just appeared out of nowhere. You could say that it manifested like a ghost and then crossed the highway to safety. Was this a blip in the matrix? Was this a ghost dog making his presence known? Time travel believers think that maybe this was the science being tested out on animals before humans were put through the test. 
If we were to assume that time travel is in the works, like the space program, they probably are testing it on animals to make sure it's safe enough for humans. Well, at least this pooch seemed to survive the testing phase. The movies are truly magical. You can travel to different parts of space and time from the comfort of your own home. In the movies, time travel is real. Stories like Back to the Future give us hope that time travel can be a thing and will be driving DeLoreans to make it happen. Finally, you could say that a time traveler made it back to 1948 and shared their technology with the world. Then the world decided to integrate that technology into a movie. In John Wayne's 1948 movie Fort Apache, there's a scene where Henry Fonda has something in his left hand. Shirley Temple is also in the scene with him, and things proceed as normal as if there isn't an iPhone look-alike in Fonda's hand. Well, while hardcore time travel believers are so certain that this was a slip in the editing room and that this was proof of time travel, it is more likely that this was a notebook. Okay, so maybe we're debunking ourselves, but you'll be surprised over how much traction this video got for being proof of time travel. We suppose one could edit an iPhone into Fonda's hand these days, but this is authentic film footage. What do you think of these mysterious time travelers caught on tape? Do you think it's all a ruse or are they legit? What would you do if you had a time machine? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. And if you're from the future, come and say hello. Before you head off to another moment in time, don't forget to subscribe to The Richest and give this video a like. Until next time.